Well, we're here with uh, Luke Parker um, just days after um, that near season ending injury, not season ending. Um, mate, can you talk us through uh, the actual incident itself? Um, did you think the worst? Yeah, I kind of did. I thought um, at the time, which is basically my ankle, kind of foot got kind of stuck um, in that tackle. And as he's kind of rotated, um, I kind of just felt the pressure come down on it. Um, and probably the last little bit, I felt like a kind of a crack or a pop and um, knew I'd done done something. Um, and basically, yeah, Taylor Adams, he, he was great. He hopped off um, really kind of gently and, and was really respectful. And um, I looked at my leg and um, the thing was, I knew it wasn't um, as bad as what I kind of first thought. I didn't know um, if it was going to be hanging out to the side. So it wasn't the, the main bone in the leg. So uh, I was pretty happy uh, with the outcome in the end. When you got stretched it off, uh, what what was going through your head at that point? Oh, for me, I probably think you're getting stretched off and you feel something break. You probably think the worst. So I was basically I didn't know whether it was a, a um, if I blown my ankle out or broken ankle or something like that, which is a kind of six to twelve month um, healing healing process. So um, at the time, I was probably thinking the worst. But um, from the scenario, basically, it's probably the best outcome that um, could have could have happened. Yeah, four to five weeks uh, you've been given. Um, not ideal, but relief. Um, you know, it's you know you're not out for longer. Yeah, I think um, that's that's what I'm pushing for. I think at the moment um, I can just look, try and try and do all I can to to get back. Um, whether I can, that's um, basically up to how it mends and how it he how it heals. And um, yeah, ho hopefully I'll be able to get back. But uh, look, I'll just have to have to wait and see at the moment. You're in a moon boot. Um, fresh after surgery so when can you get out of that and when you can get back on your feet again yeah hopefully by next week um, I'm able to get rid of the moon boot and, and crutches and um, slowly get back into walking and put a bit of weight on it um, and yeah by next week I've, I've been told that I'm able to get back on the bike and um, do a few off leg sessions and grinder sessions and uh, basically build up from there so hopefully I don't lose too much fitness over the next few weeks but um, look, I'm just looking forward to, to the challenge really getting back. Yeah, so is that that focus ahead for you? Is that um, the possibility of um, playing again in 2015? Yeah, that's what's driving me, I think, and keeping me pretty positive. I think um, from what I th first thought was that my season was over and um, could have crept into next season, who knows. But um, for me to kind of have something, a goal to strive for and um, keep positive and upbeat around the club and... Uh, pretty wrapped about, so I'll be yeah doing everything I can to to get back out there and um, help out the boys. But for the next few weeks, um, I know they'll do the job and they'll they'll be playing some really good football. So for the first time in 2015, uh, you'll be sitting on the sidelines. Um, will you be watching from home or you'll head across to Spotless Stadium? Yeah, I'm heading um, out there to watch watch the boys and hopefully get a good win. And um, look, we don't we don't care who's out there. Um, playing for us, we know we've got full faith in, in the side who, who's going to be out there and, and hopefully they can do the job. It's um, obviously disappointing I can't be out there. Uh, it's going to probably drive me nuts sitting in the stands, but um, look, I've got full faith whoever's out there will, will get the job done. Well, mate, we wish you all the luck in the world in your recovery. Um, thanks for joining us. Cheers, Luke. Thanks, mate.